Hey guys, it's Monica. Yeah, right. You all know that, right? I just have that habit. Hey guys, it's Monica. When I teach class or when I send emails out to some of my students, I always go, hey guys. Oh, and I know that's probably not appropriate, but hey guys, it's me, Monica. In this video, I'm going to share with you some of my anti-aging eye tricks. <laughs> If you're curious, stay tuned. So that said, anti-aging eye tricks. Now I know anti-aging is not the appropriate word to use. Maybe I should be using trying to age gracefully or any other type of descriptive phrase that talks about the aging woman and trying to do it tastefully, gracefully, whatever. But you know what we're really trying to do is anti-age. I don't really care how you dice it. That's what it comes down to being. We're trying to do everything we can to slow down the aging process. And I think every single one of us, every woman in the mature community, and every woman, no matter what, or man, you all know we're going to age. We are going to get wrinkles. We are going to have saggy skins. Our necks are going to wrinkle. Our hands are going to wrinkle our eyes, everything, our hair, if we're prone to thinning hair, our hair is going to thin. And, you know, our, our body is going to start to sag. And when that happens, you know, you still want to try to do things right to make yourself look better, feel better. You know, I still like to buy pretty undies. And I, I still like to make sure that I'm supported I don't want to be hanging all over the place. Um, I, I don't know how to discreetly put that, you know. I, I do take pride in my appearance, and along with that pride in my appearance, even though day to day I wear baggy clothes, oversized clothes, I don't wear form-fitting clothes, I don't kind of accentuate my curves, so to speak, I still take pride in my appearance, and, and it is the same thing. You know, pretty undies, support bras so that you're not hanging all over the place, making making you feel better, you know, and it's the same thing when it comes to anti-aging. You're going to be using and trying all sorts of different things and tricks and techniques to stall the process. And, and I know firsthand that no matter what you use, you're still going to get those wrinkles. You're still going to get those sags. You're still going to get old. There's no stopping that. And I am perfectly okay with that because truly the only way to really stop that aging process, and I don't like that alternative, is to not be alive. So I would rather be alive and buy pretty things that make me happy, whether it's jewelry. And this is not a new earring. This, these are... These are some of my old vintage earrings that I had. I think in the these are definitely I think dated in the 70s. I just think they're pretty and they just happen to match this top. But anyways, you know, so the pretty things in life that you can buy and you can do and and along with, you know, supportive garments and undergarments and all of that comes the little tricks and trip tricks and tips comes all the little tricks of all the different things you use on your face and on your eyes. So anyways, that said, I'm going a long roundabout way to getting to the point. I've had a number of you ask questions lately and part of the questions have been, you know, what specifically are you doing for your eyes? How are you taking care of your eyes? How come your eyes look so much better now than in your older videos and stuff like that? And I know many, Many of you are new subscribers, you don't know me, you haven't watched a lot of the videos, so you're questioning things, and I, I get that, I really do, so I'm going to just get rid of, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. And I've had a number of people, and some sometimes people can be a little kind of crude a little bit with it, you know, they, they'll say things like, you really need to come clean about your eyelid surgery, stuff like that. Then I've had other people say, you know, you really look like you've had surgery, and my attitude is sort of like, well, thank you. I take that as a compliment. I look like I've had surgery. That's really super awesome. Thank you so much. But that's not really answering the question because it's a legitimate question, I guess. You know, I've not had eyelid surgery. 
I'm not against eyelid surgery. I'm not saying I would never have any kind of a surgical procedure, but as of this point in my life, I haven't had it. I would for sure if I went and I'm, you know, I would love to get fillers. I, you know, and I've often said this, I'd love to have a lift. And I would for sure if I had that, I'd be sharing it with you guys because like I'd probably be vlogging inside the, the doctor's office, you know. That's just how I am. But eyelid surgery, I have not had. And over the course since I started serious skincare in 2016, my eyes have lifted dramatically. I, I really believe that it is a combination of a few things that I'm doing. One is I believe Retin-A has contributed to lifting my hoods. I can't prove it. I don't know if it's true, but I believe that it has for sure. I put Retin-A right down to my brow bone. And I believe over the course of time that has really helped to somewhat tighten and lift up my hoods. I also believe that when I started with an eyelash serum, and I've been using Blink for quite a while now, and, and I also believe that this has contributed, I don't know how, but I, I've read other people say the same thing. So I really think that this has also contributed to the lifting of my, my, my hoods. So that said, it's not surgical intervention. If anything, it could also be contributed to better eyeshadow application, something like that. Maybe I'm getting better with that. I, I've slowly gotten a little bit more daring. I've been wearing a little bit darker colors. I'm still much more of a neutral looking you know, eye, but I've been getting more daring. So I do think that as you get a little bit more talented, say with your brush and your application, it could kind of deceive you into thinking there are hoods or, you know, that you have a nice crease when in reality you don't have that much of a crease. I do have a crease that I never had there before, but I think that the eyeshadow application enhances it and makes it look far better than it is. So that said, I still use the Blink Eyelash Serum on my eyes. And to answer your question, what is my daily kind of routine on my eyes? Since I've been using the face oil, and I've been using the Flora and Bast and the Manuk, and there are two face oils that I use, one in the morning, one at night. But since I've been using the CBD face oils, I really have cut down on a lot of other creams and moisturizers, with the exception of some of the things that I do around my eyes. So clean face, if I have to tone, I've toned, but a clean face, no makeup, no eyes, nothing. I will take my oil, and I pat it on my face and I bring it up pretty close. I go pretty close up here. I, I set the oil in. Sometimes I will use a jade roller and I just help roll it in. Sometimes I use my Gin Amber Dolphin and I just turn it on the smooth side and I let that vibrate in. It all depends on how much time I have, whether I'm using this type of a device or my Dolphin. Now, the Dolphin I've not noticed any lifting with, I'm just using it to help sort of like push in the product deeper. That's that's pretty well all. So I put this on, the oil on, morning or night. My next step after that is, before I leave the bathroom, is I take 100% pure, P-U-R-E, and I put a dab here and a dab here, and then I just tap it in. This is a caffeine kind of a coffee bean solution this is the one that marlene fab and glam uses i just dab this in this is something that's going to help depuff there are many other products that i use to depuff with but this is the one i use 99 percent of the time now when i say many other products there are other products that i have that i want to use up let's put it that way and I know many of you are going to say, how about the Ordinary Caffeine? I, I have a bottle of that still in my refrigerator, and I do alternate and use that at times, too. This is my preference. I really like this a lot. So I've been using that. And then about the same time in the morning, I take a tiny little dab. This is the Nivea Skin Firming and Soothing. You know what? You can't find this anywhere. If you want to buy it on eBay, I think right now, last price I saw was like $100. Bucks. It's crazy expensive. Secondary market. It's ridiculous. This will last me a while. I have a backup. So I just put a tiny bit here, and I just put it on the inside dabs there. 
Now, I should probably do it here as well, but I really haven't. When this is gone, I don't know what I'll use. I'm sure there's some other product. I will probably look around at that point in time and do that. So most days after I do the Nevea and I do my bags, I take my Olay Pro Retinol Eye. I mentioned this is before. This is the UK version, and I put this on. Now, I brought the CBD oil close to my eyes, so I'm perfectly fine with that. I put, it, I put that on. I also sometimes will use, and I really like this as well. This is like really nice. This is the Retinol Eye Cream from Dr. Brandt. This is actually sent to me in PR quite a while ago. And I just use it such so lightly, just such a little tiny bit. It feels really good. It feels really smooth. It's very, it's very rich. I will put this on like this if I want on top of my Pro Retinol, my my eyes. Sometimes I do it at night. The other eye cream that I have really been enjoying a lot is Saturday Skin. So I will use this as an eye cream. But I'm not hung up on any particular eye cream. I was using the Timeless Eye Serum, and I really like that a lot, and then I ran out, and I said I'm going to work my way through other products, so I don't necessarily believe you have to have a special eye cream. I, I It's going to be entirely up to you. I'm using what I have around, and I'm using those up, but should they go, I probably would not buy a separate eye cream, because between my Olay Pro, the Dr. Brandt that I'm really liking. I also have another eye serum that I can use between all of that and my CBD oil. I think my eyes are pretty hydrated. They really are. I also avoid bringing, although I could benefit from concealers for sure, I avoid bringing anything really up there high. I, um, I think the more I put under my eyes, the older I look. When I have a lot, even even when I'm putting sunblock on, when I have a lot of stuff on my face, when I smile, those creases are deeper. I think you all know what I'm talking about. So I'm really very, very, very careful what I put around my eyes. I have Dirty Works. This is also a depuffer for your eyes. I get this. I think this I got at um, uh, TJ Maxx. So, you know. The biggest thing for around my eyes, to me, truthfully, is my retinol products that I'm going to use. And if I say couldn't get myself retinol, I'd look at some other type of a cream that might have the same, more or less, some vitamin A in it. I don't know, but you have to be very, very careful when you put anything around your sensitive skin around your eyes because you can get irritated and it can cause you to have some you know ugliness and damages you know damage to your eyes so i'm just really super careful when it comes to eyes but i will tell you that the cbd oil that i've been using in the morning and in the night and i apply it a little bit differently at night the, the one i'm using at night is the 5000 milligram is magu i mentioned that before i tend to put just a tiny tiny bit it's really strong has a really strong, strong, strong woodsy smell. Um, use your imagination, okay? Really strong smell. I tap a little bit and I go right here on the corners. I will go down here, I will go here, you know, deeper penetration of my ear, my trouble spots on my face. This is at night. And of course I'm using my Retin-A at night and I may also be using one or the other of my eye creams, my retinol eye creams um, that I have. But I'm very, very careful with the CBD. I do bring it up. I've had a number of you ask me exactly how high do I go. The first time I did it, I was really worried. I didn't know if I would have any kind of reaction. However, everything I have read that go very gently, but you, it should enhance your other products, not make anything worse. Enhance. So, of course, if you're using a product that could harm you, it might enhance that, too. So you have to use your judgment. But, you know, that's really all I'm doing. I, I'm pretty much a creature of habit. This I've been using for years. I've been using 
you know, the Olay Pro Eyes for a long, long, long time and really like it. I also use a black castor oil on the nights that I'm not using an eye serum. I will, you know, use this on, on my brows and use it on my lashes as well. It doesn't grow my lashes, but I feel it conditions them, so I like that a lot. And then eye creams, um, you know, trying different things for de-puffing, and that's fine. And then the tools I use to apply. You know, this this you can buy anywhere, TJ Maxx, anywhere. I have the, the thicker one. I, do, I love how this feels. I really love how this feels. Sometimes I have another one actually in the refrigerator and I have one out, but it's very cooling, it's very soothing. And obviously if you're trying to deep puff, you know, something cool around your eyes is going to be a lot better. So I really like this a lot. And then, like I said, I use the Gin Amber Dolphin as well. And I use the side that you can feel a little bit of a vibration. And it's, it's I believe, helping the product sink in deeper. So, you know, no magic trick, guys. You know, big glasses. I would say if I have one, one magic trick, it's wear the biggest, darkest, most protective type of sunglasses you can wear every day every day so i wear sunglasses seven even even if it's like overcast i wear sunglasses <laughs> i wear sunglasses all the time i believe that the big dark sunglasses polarized or whatever it is and hats with brims you know i have like a bell cap or a straw hat hats with brims that'll block the sun that'll stop you from squinting because that's the that's really the secret sauce, you know. If you squint, you're just going to accent those wrinkles. But if you wear the sunglasses and you have a brim hat, you know, ball cap or a straw hat or something, so that when you're outside, you're not, you're not squinting. I think that makes a big, big difference. So, you know, I'll try to link some of my earlier videos and maybe, you know, maybe even some photos in here if I can find them. But, you know, just to reiterate... There's nothing wrong with trying to do whatever you can to anti-age. And, and that, to me, is whatever I do for my eyes, you know. I really, 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 I enjoy the skincare process. I enjoy the taking, I enjoy taking my makeup off. I enjoy pampering my skin. I enjoy that, all of that. So for me, it's not a chore. You know, I start my skincare pretty early at night. I start it early in the morning. I just like doing it. So anti-aging, yeah. As long as I'm able, I'm going to do it. So no super secret sauce here. No tricks, really. Just, I think, common sense and doing whatever you can to feel good about yourself. And that makes me feel good about myself, too. Just like having pretty undies. <laughs> Bye, guys.